I saw a hummingbird today, so pretty, wow, it was gorgeous, um, just the way it moved and like flitted and the cute little sounds it made, oh, oh, it was just so dear, um, hmm, wish I could have been closer but I am not tall enough, it was at the top of a tree and I was at the bottom, that's where humans tend to hang out. Yeah, um, I also went to a ramen place today, even though I can't eat ramen. But there's this ramen place around the corner from me that always has a queue out the door. And I've learned that this is how you can tell where the good eating spots are around town. Um, and today I walked past it and there was no queue. And so I thought, now's my opportunity to go in and check out the menu, see if there's anything on it I can actually eat. And I tried to educate them about gluten-free things and explain what that means. Um, they didn't really understand. Um, so I ended up just having like the one thing on the menu I could have, which was just an appetizer. And so it was small, it wasn't even a proper meal. It was really nice. But anyway, that was my ramen experience. So yeah, don't bother going to a ramen house if you can't eat ramen. That's the moral of the story there. Yeah. Anyway, now it's time to go to a fictionary evening. I'm so excited because Pictionary, like board games and stuff, I love them. Um, I think it's to do with the organisation being one of my favourite things as well. It's fun. I love fun. And so organised fun. It's just like a perfect storm of entertainment. Ooh, I hate it when people say it's the perfect storm of anything, but <laughs> it just felt appropriate. 